What we are looking at in the Institute is to develop technology that is going to have impact to both developing and developed countries. So for instance, that, uh, how do we develop technology such as pervasive sensing can be used for point of care in resource restricted countries can also be used for dealing with chronic disease management associated with aging population in the West. So finding common ground for technological innovation is the key for this institute. To bring the engineering and technology, which is really one of the major uh, strengths of Imperial College, into this global health arena. And we as, as engineers, that, uh, you know, there are a lot of scope for developing technologies which is intrinsically blue sky, innovative, but also can have the real impact to the global, general global health uh, um, agenda. In all my career, that I've been developing new technologies involving imaging, sensing, and the robotics, but also I come from China as a developing country. I also think that many problems associated with uh, you know, health inequality, access to health care, and also public health issues. So it has always been my desire in terms of developing technology that can really can change people's life, can have its societal impact, and also can make it to be accessible and so on. So it's really that the role I'm playing here is really to bring in the engineering perspective into this global health, global health innovation arena that to really to make the total whole thing to happen. What we hope is that really not only address the general global health issues, but also to bring in innovation influence policy to educate the next generation young scientists to use this as their career, use the innovation as the vehicle, as the environment for deploying their technologies and also that to foster partnership with different organizations. So there's a, the Institute has a very broad remit but through innovation that's really the key, through innovation we try to address those problems that are faced by the both developing and also developed world.